turn, okay. It even turns if you just have a hands and you don't do anything. It turns with your hands on. So right now I just hold hands here, but I don't uh, move steering wheel like by my force is doing uh, automatically. Okay, I hear the holy, okay, ambulance. So yeah, the car is doing everything by itself. I just want uh, more air on my feet. It's a little bit colder today. So really nice drive. I'm enjoying this. Also, uh, the sign on the road is in uh, actual speed, but the speedometer always shows the slower speed, which is the reality. So if the speed limit is 50, here uh, real speed is like 53 or maybe 55. You can check if you have like a GPS uh, application on your phone app. You can check then the actual speed by measuring by GPS in your phone. Okay, so I will put it in the comfort bag. Car will now rise and became more comfortable. And also engine will be more calm. Also I can feel already the steering is more calm. This is a sharp corner so it doesn't show me the lane assist now it's 70 so it should go okay so go to 70 so this is really easy to drive you almost don't feel anything here you feel something of course but uh, actually funny thing is that this car is very similar uh, to the s class when i drove the s class then uh, it was very similar to this. It was more quiet, uh, of course, because it's a flagship car and big car. And so the more, the closer to the S class would be GLS. The new one should be this here. Of big windows so yeah the car is doing everything for you you can relax on your way to the work if you live in a busy city then this is a great car for you you are more isolated there should be also the also it goes to 90 now also there uh, should be what is good the system is for speeding to the sign but where now is 70 it takes like a few seconds to slow down like a yeah, few seconds so it's comfortable but sometimes the police is standing there and uh, like looking on the radar. So be aware of that, that uh, sometimes it's better to press uh, yeah, brake manually. Uh, so uh, yeah, so far so good. There was a sign like a motorway. So I can go now, the 90, but the car didn't know that. Maybe it's different sign in my country than in uh, yeah, other countries. I'm not uh, sure about that.
but if you drive in your country mostly then you know uh, what you should do so yeah really this is an easy to drive car really comfortable it eats up the bumps easily so I still have a 11.3 so let's reset this so the car is slowing down because there is a car in front of me now I wanted to go into left lane but there was this car in my uh, blind spot actually so it wasn't like 100% blind but I wanted to do this for you so you can see how the indicator works always even when I have the blind spot I always like tilt myself so that way I eliminate the blind spot and also this is a tip for you which don't have a blind spot in your car so this car is really good on the braking uh, yeah check also my full review of this uh, car so you can see everything here you can these things you can activate automatically so yeah focus on the road This car is really steady in the corners. So now I have 8.2 liters. Now it picked up speed to 70. but uh, you lose the speed limit on the next intersection which the car saw actually which is pretty clever some cars are nervous because I'm uh, yeah, going 100% correctly on the speed limit which as you can see not many people do here So yeah, here is also 50, car is keeping that. I put it on 53, so I'm uh, more quicker. <laughs> Not quicker, but actual 50, GPS 50. You can see also in the head-up display which uh, radio station you have on. see all of these things here and if I put here the assistance I can put it in the whole screen so it's pretty cool I can see the car following I will just stop at the gas station uh, buy a water because I'm thirsty and yeah I have a little stop and then I will continue with my driving part and we can put the navigation on the full screen 
parking here, 360 camera, very easy to park with this car. This car is very smooth, but uh, also it's very powerful. So now it should go to 90. Okay, it goes. Indicator. It should change lane. But the icon wasn't green on the on this feature. So you need to wait. When it's grey, it doesn't do lane, uh, like uh, active lane keeping. I mean the, the Distronic Plus. Only the radar, distance radar is active. So right now it's windy outside, but I don't uh, feel I don't feel the wind, so I will just slow down here automatically, that I not, but my, manually. And you can see here also the screen, but I don't know, you have here screen, so I prefer, I prefer to keep this on the normal, like a trip. This is pretty easy to see, so yeah. So right now I have 8.6 liters, which is a fantastic uh, for the size of the car and this engine, 6 cylinder and uh, 367 horsepower. So I'm just now, you can say, wafting in English. You can see it higher in this car, as in every SUV. should pick up speed now to 90 okay so this is really good now it's uh, 70 so it's slowing down to 70 and there should be 30 70 as well but now it thinks I can go 130, maybe because of that sign there. But yeah, it saw the 70. So it's like 99%, uh, like correct, this uh, system. So yeah, there was like cancel, so it goes to 90 now. You have two sun visors here. I really see why people like SUVs and this on the air suspension. It's very smooth, but somehow they made it smooth and also you feel the road very nicely. So uh, yeah, that's pretty um, impressive. I will soon go to the part. This could even be my like a test drive circuit where it would be like a bad road and after that would be 130 like a highway limit here but without paying the highway uh, highway toll because you need to pay for highways here so yeah this car is very comfortable very easy to drive I have a lot of space here naturally you see it higher also the wireless charging has started see my phone here uh, so yeah this is great and yeah it's easy the car is following the car in front of me keeping distance now I'm going only on the rear wheel drive with over 1000 rpms so I can set this five instrument cluster to different thing 
like my average and my actual speed, uh, actual fuel consumption. You can have a little navigation here, but then again, I have it here, so I don't really see point to have it here for me personally. Formatic is showing me what it can do, which Excel is uh, used for how much. Now again it's so the start of the village, so it slows down to 50, but I will put it uh, three clicks up to 53. So suspension, you can have e-active body suspension, which I saw in my, uh, in, which I saw, uh, not saw, but uh, which I told in my uh, full review of this car that it cost 10,000 euro here. So nobody orders that uh, as uh, so far, because uh, for most of the people this is enough. But e-active body suspension can tilt down in the corners or like a motorcycle. So now end. Okay, 90. So when you have a green sign here, it means that the active uh, distronic like radar is working. And if you have this lane with the car uh, green, it means that it's keeping the lane automatic. So now it should slow down 70. Okay. And it's doing very smoothly this process of slowing down and speeding up to the speed limit. It also uh, brakes, now I'm going downhill, significantly, actually 8 degrees, it shows me there. And I'm going west direction, I see it on the head-up display, hopefully you see it with me. I will just put the sun visor back. Here is very bad asphalt, not holes, but uh, because they repair them. But the car itself, uh, the the road itself, it's like glued together with like patches. So uh, one of the worst uh, roads here, but good for testing the suspension. And uh, my conclusion is that this is a soft suspension, but you feel what the wheels are doing underneath you, so it's not like a riding, uh, I don't know, in a Rolls Royce. So I really like this, that this, uh, you have basically driver information what the surface is uh, below your tires. And, but at the same time it's not uncomfortable. So I still have like 40 minutes to give car back. So I'm going now on the highway part very soon. And yeah, I don't hold the accelerator, I don't hold the brake. So I'm doing everything automatically. There is a cyclist, so you need to go around it, around them, the person. So I just hold the steering wheel, but now it shows me that it's a green light, so I don't even need to uh, steer. It goes automatically, and it brakes automatically, it follow, it's following the car. It tells me I need to now I will brake manually, because the lorry is braking more intensively, more intense. So we can try put it in the sport and accelerate hard. So 
so that was a full throttle on the sport wow and it was uh, I will just keep it in the sport it was very powerful I can tell you that so this car is not messing around so you won't have any problem to overtake anything in this car there will be also already is was in Geneva the GLE 53 AMG so if you like the performance even more then you can uh, have that one yeah really rough here rough uh, portion of the car not car but road and I will just wait here and I need to turn off the start stop engine so I have some space here okay I can go now to 60 and I will floor it now in the end of the 60 so let's go full gas is a speed limit here there is a strong wind outside but inside I can only feel it a little bit so yeah the lines on the road need to be painted correctly in order it for work good I will just brake here manually because often the police is standing there and they are waiting for the millisecond where you go over speed limit and then we'll, they will take a picture of you and you have a ticket. So I will just put it here in the 63 speed which is 60 plus 3. Now I'm in the pit lane. What is good about this road that it has like three sections of the slowdown and you can uh, then uh, try the acceleration. Car is also now in minus one. So 60 floor it. And plus three. But the car also wanted to slow down because of this car. Right now I'm going only on the rear axle. And the lines need to be painted correctly in order for the active uh, Distronic Plus to work. Right now the icon is not uh, green. Also I wanted to mention that this car is pre-production model. slow down here to 100 so yeah this is very easy on the highway 80 yeah I will slow down manually for this yeah because here often police weights here is end of this like a town so I can speed up to 90 and this car picks up speed <laughs> really good so uh, my conclusion is uh, you don't really need AMG for normal driving but AMG can be fun to have better suspension even and even more performance with the GLE 53 and there will be also GLE 63 as always maybe even GLE 63S 